Let's stand for the opening hymn. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before the most blessed sacrament and her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, Son, and Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection, to give us new life. By this, you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity we have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely for our sins, We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please stand. Mother of perpetual health, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindness, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother. You willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they always cross us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross. 
in the footsteps of pure divine. That he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We are naskly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection, confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, you just, we ask you to bless our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their mothers and fathers. To your loving care, respect in making our home a haven of Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. But petitions to our mother perpetual help. Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our mother perpetual help, we sinners call to you that we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death, that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin, that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Holy Eucharist that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be true Christians by loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously, that we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us, that we may see the evil of seeking our interest at the expense of others, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's good, that we may share talents with others for the good of the community that we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen His Holiness, Pope Francis, all the bishops and clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. 
that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievement. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. Holy Mary, help us in all our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May you experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Please stand. sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother perpetual health. Countless favors we have received through her intercession, especially through this novena, to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual health. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love to the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be honored, glory, and thanksgiving forever. 
Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Your prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may the chosen ones, whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that you are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. We stand for the closing. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Thank you.